Yeah. Yeah. Esri is ready to start this game. His ga his last game, Ketra's last home game, and uh, champions with the presentation if, today. If it's your last game of the season and ever, wouldn't you want to just give everything and anything possible? Yes, yes, milk it, milk it as much as you could. That would be uh, that would be <laughs> foul throws this everything. Is, this is his last chance. If he hasn't done it today, he's never going to do it again. I I reckon we'll see a penalty here today at least, and maybe a red card. Do be just receiving some instructions there from the Ketra management. Yeah, as. Uh, as the goal kick is taken by Richard Knight. Low this time, although it makes it's a done distance. the job. Yep. And it is found, Doobie. Can he release Mulligan? It's Elliot Sandy oh, now. Elliot, Elliot should shoot it. Oh. Elliot Sandy puts the champions 1 0 up at home. Well, Jepson might be favourite to swing one in here. It has gone for it. From how I was looking at the, the linesman, he had his flag up just for uh, a <laughs> Yeah, the linesman did not give that at all. It was the referee who gave it. Jason Lee at the back post, Bet Solcombe in the middle. Ball crossed in. Don't know why he's missing it! Elliot Sandy decided to put it in! It's again! Eventually! And it's Bet Solcombe who gets it! <laughs> Sorry, I missed it. I missed it. Yo! The cameraman missed it, but it's a goal! As Denham Hines gets to uh, take his goal kick. And, uh, in fact, there'll be a few more minutes. There was a couple of stoppages, weren't there? Well, there was a few stoppages, so that will probably be added on. Bedworth with a chance here, blocked by Steve Kinnebra. And that is, in fact, half time. So, half time here at Latimer Park, as you heard. It's Kettering Town 2. Bedworth United nil back down to the studio with Paul and Matt. Well, we had uh, some good guests on at halftime. Brilliant. We had, uh, yeah, we had uh, Jonathan Thorpe, we had Josh Mormon, and we had Keith Allen as well. Not the no, yeah, Keith the Allen. league chairman, not not Keith Allen. Fat Les, yeah. Keith Allen. That's a foul against Ketron and against Steve Kinneborough. Yep. And uh, Bedworth were trying to take a quick free kick there. Well, no one stayed back really for Bedworth, although. Uh, the number four, Andrew Westwood, is up. And, uh, and number uh, ten, Jamie Ashmore, is uh, yeah. back as well. So, free kick for Ketron to defend here. Could be dangerous. Ball put in. Oh, it has gone in! It's gone all the way in. It's gone in. Off number 11. No, I think it's... It, 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 number 11 didn't get it. Came a, off oh, did number he? 11, yeah. Well, he's claiming it. Kick. Quite a high kick, actually. Very high, and uh, no yeah, one's going to head of that, are they? Uh, he's um, old school header for a tenner kind of things. Oh, the ball's played through here. The number four could be in. Really Rounds nice. the goalkeeper, Jason Lee. Don't know whether it was going in it's or not, gone, but yeah. I had to touch it around the post. Yeah. Throw in taken to Elliot Sandy. Straight to Doobie. Is he going to shoot? He wants to shoot. He can't find no. any. He can't and find a gap. Uh, Pass has gone straight towards Bedworth, who now attack. They've got five players attacking. Surely the uh, the number 12 is offside there. Not given, though. Shout for offside. Oh, Rich. tipped past the post from Richard Knight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Getting in my ear, name more jokes. <laughs> oh, need to be whipped into shape. Sandy heads it forward. No one. And that is full time, it is finished 2 1. Bedworth may have just fallen at the final hurdle, but it's uh, it's finished. Kettering Town 2, Bedworth United 1. We're going to hand you back down to the studio with Paul Cook and Dean Thomas.